Hello, Headsets. Frank here, and it is time for the Rift Report. Now, in a Reddit post, Lucky Palmer asks, hey, should I buy Vive? Now, he's not just talking about the headset, he's talking about the company. I believe HTC has been discussing selling off their Vive division, and maybe we'll have a brand new owner in Mr. Lucky Palmer, which I would love to see happen. Next up, a new Facebook app allows you to take 360 photos. This is the first big update to the Facebook Photos app since 2011. All you gotta do is click a little blue button, look around the room, and you're gonna be able to share and view photos in 360 degrees on your Rift headset, which should be very cool. All right, and Killing Floor has a new holdout mode or horde mode coming its way, one to two players, and it's gonna be any level that you beat in the main game. You can go back to them with another buddy, and you have to defend an objective while you take on hordes of enemies. Now, as you can see, a little bit of gameplay from it behind me, but although we don't have a date, I'm sure we'll find out more in the near future. And Racket Fury, if you haven't tried out this ping pong tennis themed game, you should definitely give it a shot. And now there's a demo available on the Steam store. And Form the Puzzle Game is being given away by my wonderful friend Paradise Decay. He's got three copies, so if you haven't tried this game out, definitely check out the link in the description and maybe you can win one courtesy of him. And Quill VR is an amazing title, but it's nothing without an amazing artist. And Wyatt D. Dukas shows us Factory Night, which is beautiful. If you'd like to see the full video of his painting that took two days to complete, link to that one is in the description. And Steam Spy spied that over 100,000 new users were in the lab over the past three weeks, which is wonderful for VR industry, which means we gotten some beautiful new headsets entering this and the VR community in general. Wondering what the best USB and HDMI cables are for your Oculus Rift? Well, my buddy Virtual Reality Oasis has got you covered. He has got the lowdown on everything you'd need to get the best setup possible. Link to that video is in the description. And it seems like Oculus is working with Crytek to develop some brand new schemes for locomotion in virtual reality titles. Now they have released eight developer diaries and this is all for other developers to think about how to do games moving forward and how to do locomotion for all of us in the ways that we're gonna like it the best. I definitely suggest you check out this playlist. A lot of information, but very cool stuff, especially if you're very into VR, which your boy Frankie definitely is. And finally, an H3 VR update from your boy Anton. Now, H3 VR is a beautiful game, but this developer is even more beautiful. He has finally implemented those teleportation controls a la Robo Recall, and he has a new loading system that's supposed to quicken everything up. This is a beta version, so please, you guys, check it out. Leave him some feedback because he loves to hear what you have to say. And so, and it does have a new beta branch, so you're gonna have to restart Steam, right click the game go into your properties and switch that beta on now anyway anywho thank you for coming through but before you go i'd like you to know that i will be back tomorrow with more rift rapport